just started the road to Hana. We are doing it in two days. Um, it is the Hana Highway. It's filled with so many stops and hikes and beautiful outlooks. Um, so we decided to do it in two days so we could actually enjoy it versus doing it like a marathon. And we're camping in the middle. Uh, the highway is pretty interesting. There's over 600 hairpin curves and I think over 50 different bridges. 59. 59 bridges. <laughs> Um, and it is also a local road that gets used, so you have to be kind of cautious about people being behind you and whatnot. Yeah, being respectful of uh, parking signs and just don't going into the private property. But we are super excited. Caleb is very focused on the road, as you can already tell, because it is a narrow and winding road, but can't wait. You can hardly tell, but there's sea turtles up on the beach, kind of where the marks are right around here but they look like rocks anything you see that looks like a rock it's probably a sea turtle <laughs> yeah we've been staring at them for a while and it took me a second to realize that they were sea turtles not rocks we're super far away from them just obviously because you can't get close to them there's a wall over here that you can't pass so we're kind of up on a little overlook to see them better We just stopped at our second stop of the day at Twin Falls. Um, it is a paid parking lot and it is a little short hike to three different waterfalls. So we just started and are excited to see some waterfalls. Is it cold? Refreshing. Refreshing? We made it to Twin Falls. It's called Twin Falls because there's two of them, I think, that come into one. There's three fall waterfalls in total, so we were super confused why it's called Twin when there's three. But super beautiful. Caleb wishes that he wore a swimsuit to get in, but. You a towel. Yeah. Both, I guess. road is getting a little more narrow and windy, but nothing too crazy yet. What do you think? It's not bad yet, but it's definitely getting uh, bendy. stopped at the Garden of Eden, which is like a botanical garden where you can see some waterfalls and tropical plants. There's some ostriches, I think. And ostriches? Some no, peacocks. Overlooks. I need peacocks. Peacocks, same thing. <laughs> yeah, and I think a lot of tropical flowers, so it should be good. It's $20 per person, just FYI. Where are we headed, Caleb? a rainbow eucalyptus tree and it is so colorful that Caleb said it almost looks fake but it's not it's real the peacock is so beautiful still chasing the car <laughs> This is the awesome rig that we have all week. Um, it's Tacoma with a rooftop tent and a bunch of camping stuff. It's from Kuleana Campers, Caleb, and it is awesome. We love being able to drive it around the island and see some awesome spots.
We just got to Wayanapana State Park. Not sure if that's how you say it, I'm putting the name below. Um, but you have to get a timed entry reservation yeah. in advance for this. Very important. Yes, um, and this is where one of the famous black sand beaches are. And yeah, what else is here? I don't know, we're gonna go find out though. Yeah. <laughs> So they're getting absolutely sloshed down there in the current. There. There's a few There's of them. A couple right hanging out. there in this area. I wish I could zoom on this thing, but oh yeah, he just came up for air again. And then he gets torn back down under with the current. Pretty cool. Just did the hike to Red Sand Beach. It's quite beautiful. It's a little cove, a little protected bay. It kind of looks like black sand, but obviously red, like a dark maroon. It's a little bit of a sketchy trail, but it's super, super beautiful at the end. Tonight we are camping. Um, it is a more like private local property, so we will not be doing anything um, with video tonight on that, but we're super excited to cook and sleep in the rooftop tent. It's gonna be a beautiful night, sleeping by the water with the sound of the ocean, and it should be good. Of our drive on the road to Hana. We um, camped in Hana last night. I can't even see the ocean. I'm driving by the ocean right now. Um, and we are driving the next part of it all the way to Haleakala National Park. Um, and this morning we are doing actually three different waterfalls. Two of them are hikes and some of them are more like swimming holes. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear how loud the road is, but it's really bumpy right now. Um, it's a little more rugged today. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't really had service at all, which is totally fine, but definitely recommend downloading maps completely offline so you can keep driving and there you go. But super excited for today. We just got to Haleakala National Park and Caleb is reading all of the signs per usual in the history. Can you give us a little synopsis? Not yet. I haven't read all of them yet. Honey, well just, what you got so far? Just reading about the history of the land and the park and the people. We are now starting the trail to Waimoku Falls. Um, it's about four miles. Should be fun. There's a couple waterfalls along the way. Yes, there's no swimming in these ones because um, flash floods can be super dangerous, but we are excited to see some more waterfalls. Friendly reminder to always stay on marked trails. Start to see the top of it. So we must be getting close. Quite tall. We made it to Waimoku Falls. Very beautiful. Very large and tall. Super tall. Like you can hardly see it all just in one setting, but super pretty. So we just finished the Waimoku Trail and we have some fruit that we're gonna cut up on the back of our truck. We've got a mango and uh, yeah, it's actually really nice having all of our, this is a really weird angle, all of our stuff just on the bed of our truck like it is at home so we can get some snacks. Beautiful waterfalls feeding into some pools at the end of the ocean. 
<laughs> you used to be able to go swimming here, right? Yep, not anymore though. It's not very safe. Yeah, flash floods apparently happened and have killed a decent number of people, so they closed it off. But the water just comes rushing from here and then down, and you're swept out to the ocean, which... Caleb, what did you just read about the sharks? Uh, there's a lot of sharks at the mouth of where it, it meets the ocean. Gray sharks. I don't know. Aren't those the really, like, vicious ones? No? They're, they're friendly? I mean, they're not friendly, but they're not vicious. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so no swimming here. You can't really tell, but there's, I think, seven pools, which is where it gets one of its names, but they just keep feeding in down to each other. Yes, the water was freezing, but it was exactly what we needed. We are back on the road to Hana. It is pretty hectic this way since it's mostly a one way and we're heading into the volcano portion of Haleakala National Park um, and cannot wait. Also, since we are camping, one of the perks is that we have everything we own in the back, which is a little stressful right now, but we had to change of clothes, towels, and everything we already needed, which is super nice. And we're probably gonna pull over uh, and make lunch somewhere too, since we have everything in the truck, which we love. just got to the top of Haleakala's National Park Crater. It's, uh, it's pretty uh, chilly up here. Dropped about 20 degrees. As you can tell, we're in puffers. We're just in tank tops. Um, but we are going to be doing a short trail and then staying to watch sunset. Sydney's chopping up some vegetables for our dinner tonight. Having steak and potatoes and vegetables for dinner. Yeah, we're cooking at the top of Haleakala Crater uh, while we wait for the sun to set. Watching sunrise at Haleakala. It looks so far very similar sunset, but we shall see. It's Do you think 
the sunrise or sunset was better? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like they were honestly really similar. I feel like the view of what the sun rose over was prettier, but I think sunset might be more colorful. I don't know, what do you think? The sunset was warmer, for sure. Yeah, yeah you didn't have yeah, to wake up to at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> but either are great. Driving to our next state park after leaving Haleakala this morning, back to the warm climate. Um, no idea how to say it, not even gonna try, but it's spelled like this. <laughs> you need to get advanced reservations um, to do a hike here. The Iowa Valley State Monument. It's spelled I-A-O. We're not sure that's how you say it, but. Um, it's very windy. Yes, it's super pretty. Very Jurassic Park vibes. Um, we're excited to do a short little hike to see the famous viewpoint. Pretty uh, short walk up. <laughs> we thought it was gonna be a little longer. It took us about five minutes, <laughs> but it's super pretty. Had to get shave ice. Very yummy. What do you think? What flavor should get? I got coconut and mango and guava. Mmm, I got mango, pineapple, blue raspberry. We love shave ice. Last afternoon, fly out in the morning. Where do we want to go, Caleb? To the beach. To the beach. It's our first beach day in however many days we've been here. Beautiful day. I'm excited to finally swim. See, this is my temperature water right here. Right at about 72, 73 degrees. <laughs> Some salt. That's the, that's the stuff. It's and I have a 60 degree fresh water mat. <laughs> It's also so shallow. I don't know if you can tell what we're basically sitting. So I think that's why it's so warm. But super pretty. Tonight we are camping at Camp Alawalu right on the beach. And it is so nice. It honestly feels more like glamping. Definitely glamping. Yeah, like the bathrooms. Or there's bathrooms that have running water. There's showers, closed showers. There's beach access. We have this cute little spot. So, yeah, Bad. highly recommend if you're camping on Maui. Our final night camping, and I'm finally getting around <laughs> to getting some GoPro footage of us setting up the tent that we've been sleeping in. Caleb is just putting in the final, like, rain fly holds. It's super windy, so one on the other side fell, but this is what we've been sleeping in, and this is our view tonight. So this week we have been camping across Maui, we've mentioned with um, this Tacoma and rooftop setup, which is super similar to our setup back home, but we rented it through Kuleana Campers, which is super awesome. Um, Frank has just been super awesome. His team yeah, has been amazing. It's been a great experience. Yeah, we highly, highly, highly recommend booking with them. We will put the link below so you can book with them. I think it's your favorite, and I just eat it. <laughs> that could be highly possible. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> 